Meet the UN veterans of the Korean War who visited Korea to commemorate their service on Armistice Day, July 27. Take a look at how international summer term programs are helping to promote Korea's charm and acting as a bridge between Korea and the world. Torokdo Island, once filled with the tears and sorrow of Hansen's disease patients, is being transformed into a place of hope and healing. Learn about the century-long history of Torokdo Island. The Pokemon Go craze is taking the world by storm. We found out how augmented reality forms the basis for the game and how it's expected to be used in various industries in the future. Sixty-six years ago, at the height of the Korean War, there were soldiers from all over the world fighting on Korean soil. They're still up there in the mountains. There's 350 plus U.S. Marines buried in North Korea. Share with them, pray with them, help them, be there to assist them when they were wounded. The war ended long ago, and the soldiers are now silver-haired veterans. But the memory remains fresh in their minds. In the early hours of June 25, 1950, Thunderous explosions shook the earth in South Korea. The North Korean army had crossed the 38th parallel. The UN Security Council declared this to be an invasion and sent the UN forces to aid the South. Soldiers from all over the world joined the South Koreans in a fierce struggle to defend their liberty. The soldiers from back then have returned to Korea once more. This time, it's to participate in events to commemorate the 63rd anniversary of the armistice. The veterans visited the war memorial and remembered those who had perished in battle. Decades have passed and the young warriors are now old veterans. However, reading the names of the fallen stirs up old memories and emotions once more. It's a real privilege to be here and see the names that were on the wall along here of how many people that was sacrificed, lives that was gone down the drain. But I guess it was worth it to the Korean people. 130 veterans and family members visited Korea this time. They remember Korea of the 1950s, filled with destruction and trails of refugees. How does the peaceful and prosperous Korea of 2016 make them feel? Congratulations. Keep it up. Korea is a beautiful country now. The changes in Korea are phenomenal for people who have been here during a time of war. I left here in 54. I was impressed from one end to the other coming up from the airport here. It was a sight to behold, all the manufacturing and the, the uh, things you people have accomplished are something I never dreamed you could do. Combining both combat troops and medical personnel, a total of 2 million men from 21 nations came to Korea as part of the UN forces. Sadly, 150,000 of them perished or were injured in the war. The South Korean government has been inviting Korean War veterans to Korea and recovering the remains of UN soldiers to show its appreciation for their service. The government also holds a range of events for the descendants of veterans, such as the Peace Camp for Youth. Should a veteran wish so, his body can be buried in Korea. Two UN Korean War veterans were buried in the Busan UN Memorial Cemetery for the first time last year. It's, it's been a long time in the coming to get, this, to, get to this situation, and I never thought it would, it would happen. And I can't thank the, the people who have made it possible enough. 이분들에게 정말 자기가 한국 전쟁에 참전했다는 것이 자랑스럽고 또한 본인의 어떤 이 참전의 희생이 헛되지 않았다는 것을 갖다가 우리가 보여줄 수 있고 또 자기들의 어떤 희생과 헌신이 영원히 후대에까지 이렇게 기억되고 또 계승되도록 하는데 또 그런 의미가 있습니다. Korea designated July 27th, the day of the armistice, as UN Forces Participation Day in 2013. This once again stressed the message that Korea will never forget the sacrifices made by UN soldiers in the Korean War. 
UN Forces Participation Day has been commemorated every year since. This year was all the more meaningful as the event was attended by both veterans and their descendants. I'm very proud of my grandfather participating in the Korean War. Uh, I think it's a good thing that he participated because it's very good for Korea and for the rest of the world. And if they hadn't, we don't know what would have happened and it could have been a lot worse. At this ceremony, General Antonio Michael Muller of South Africa and eight other veterans were awarded the Order of Military Merit in recognition of their services. It is absolutely marvelous now to come back here and get the appreciation of the Korean people warms our heart. It's been more than 60 years since the war ended. But Korea's efforts continue to remember the veterans and their altruistic spirit. Still, the aged veterans are passing away one by one as the years go by. How should future generations treat their memory? Behind the liberty and peace that we enjoy today stand the veterans who bled and perished in battle. It is our duty to preserve their memory so that their achievements are not taken for granted by future generations. International students are flocking to Korea over the summer break. We took a look at international summer programs that are helping to promote Korea's charms and acting as a bridge between Korea and the world. During July at this university in Korea, the campus is crowded with students despite their summer break. Lectures are underway in the classrooms, and they are attended by students of various nationalities, including Uzbekistan, Mexico and Bulgaria. There are students participating in an international summer program. They each have their own reason for coming to Korea. Even though I've done most of the work already, I wanted to see what it would be like being taught by a leading professional somewhere else, uh, calculus. And Korean language, I figured that Korean is a very fast growing language and I want to be a part of that, so I need to improve my skills here. Since I've been like in my own little bubble in Canada, I've I always wanted to see what like the world actually was. And coming here I could see so many like diverse cultures meeting together since it's an international area. Between the media and Korea's reputation, I think, uh, has a big impact on how they recruit and who decides to come here. Universities are making specialized education programs as they welcome international students. We took a closer look at this school's international summer program attended by over 1,800 students this year. That is the highest figure recorded since the program was started. Thanks to high quality lectures by renowned professors from prestigious schools overseas and a choice of over 120 different subjects. It provides an excellent opportunity for students to learn about Korea through academic and cultural immersion during the summer months. It offers one semester's workload condensed into four or six weeks for both international and domestic students. The number of international students is increasing steadily. Currently, over 100,000 foreign students reside in Korea. Some international programs are especially noteworthy. The number of students enrolled in such a program at one school in Seoul has skyrocketed in the past 10 years. 
Some students come to Korea because of an interest in Korean culture thanks to the global Korean wave. But the motivations are gradually changing. 과거에는 어, 한류를 중심으로 K-팝이나 한국 드라마를 접하면서 자연스럽게 그게 한국에 대한 관심으로 이어지고 그리고 이제 나아가서 이제 단기 과정을 찾는 이런 추세였는데 지금은 거기서 조금 더 나아가서 한국어에 대한 관심, 한국에 대한 관심 그리고 한국의 고등교육 기관, 대학에 대한 관심이 높아지고 한국에서 한국학을 공부하고 뭐 IT 분야 같은 한국의 강점 분야들을 좀더 깊이 공부하고자 하는 학생들이 많아지고 있습니다. Another major advantage of international summer programs is the opportunity to socialize with students from various countries in a relatively short period of time. Participants learn about each other's language and culture and become fast friends. You get to meet all these new people who are here in the same situation as you. They're here from somewhere else. They are uh, just trying to meet new people. And the buddy program it gives you the opportunity to go out with a bunch of other people and enjoy your time here. Through this program, we can get so many experiences such as Taekwondo, cooking class, temple stay, and etc. Not only that, but also it's really helpful for me to get to know other various cultures. This is another classroom where an international summer program class is underway. The students receiving the lesson is business management come from different countries and majors. But they share a common interest in Korea. Even now, after staying here for only two weeks, I'm actually, I want to look into scholarships, so maybe I could study my whole major over here in Korea. I think like meeting new professors from, from many countries and other students from many other countries is really interesting and it's a really good experience. Offering a chance to experience Korea in a short time frame and fostering a more profound interest in the country, the international summer programs have special significance for these students. A lot of people that just knew Korea through K-pop, but once they keep, they start studying its history, its market, and, and so on, they get even more interested because there, there's a lot of things beyond K-pop. Live it in an intense way. Don't stay in your room, in your, in your, in your place. Study hard and party hard, and then you're gonna meet a lot of people and learn a lot of things. They are an opportunity to encounter and interact with people and cultures from various countries, while receiving education in its purest form. It's been a hundred years since the Japanese colonial government began the forced confinement of Hansen's disease patients on Sorokdo Island. The patients were subjected to human rights abuses simply because of their condition. Sorokdo Island is now working to overcome this painful history and transform itself into a place for hope and healing. Join us on this journey of the hundred-year-old history of Sorokdo Island. Sorokdo Island is a small island on the southern tip of the Korean peninsula. Although over 300,000 tourists visit its pristine shores now, it was once forbidden grounds cordoned off from the rest of the world. In 1916, when Korea was colonized by Japan, Taihe Hospital, a concentration camp for Hansen's disease patients, was set up on Sorokdo Island. <laughs> Traces of the suffering of Hansen's disease patients can still be found everywhere. The confinement room is one of them. Leprosy patients were locked up in these rooms where forced abortions and sterilizations were performed on them. Hansen's disease is caused by bacterial infection. However, it was misunderstood in the past as a genetic disease. 
Such false information and prejudice led to the isolation of patients from society. Hansen's disease is not particularly contagious and can be completely cured with medication. Hansen 병이 완전히 치유가 됐음에도 불구하고 여전히 한센 병에 이제 감염돼 있다고 이렇게 오해하고 있는 것이 가장 큰 편견입니다. Pope John Paul II's visit to Sorokto Island in 1984 helped break down the prejudice and discrimination against the disease. Sisters Marianne and Margaret were nuns that played a huge role in improving the human rights of Hansen's disease patients. They graduated from nursing school in Austria and came to Sorokto Island upon learning about the need for nurses. The home where sisters Marianne and Margaret lived was registered as a national cultural asset in June. Sister Marianne revisited Sorokto Island on the 100th anniversary of the National Sorokto Hospital's establishment. Sorokto Island is now a place that teaches visitors about the value of human rights. The National Sorokto Hospital, formerly the Taihe Hospital, has since become a key facility for the treatment and support of Hansen's disease patients. 4,000 volunteers visit Sorokto Island every year to share in the lives of the patients. <laughs> In order to teach future generations about the painful past of Sorokto Island, the world's largest Hansen's Disease Museum was opened in May. The Hansen's Disease Museum supports human rights, culture, arts, and education aimed at telling the patient's stories and helping them to heal. Sorokto Island, once filled with suffering, is now a place of hope and healing. It is a place where the values of human rights and volunteerism are upheld. Sorokto Island is moving on from a history of pain and isolation to a brighter future. We hope that the next hundred years will write new chapters in the history of Sorokto Island, chapters of hope and healing. Pokemon Go is taking the world by storm. With the popularity of Pokemon Go, public interest in augmented reality has increased. Pikachu, go with me. I'm going to play Pokemon. 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 I'm going to play with word spreading that the game is playable in Sokcho, Gangwon-do province here in Korea, scores of gamers have been flocking to the Oceanside city. Gangwon-do province's Sokcho city has become a domestic gaming mecca thanks to Pokemon Go. Sokcho is the midst of a veritable Pokemon festival. Banners mentioning the game line the streets and dedicated gamers have gathered to capture the creatures. 
The beaches are filled with people on smartphones engrossed in finding and hunting Pokemon. 활동성 있는 모바일 게임 훨씬 재밌는데 저는 음. 딴 게임 같은 경우는 핸드폰 잡고 그냥 한 자리에서만 계속 하니까 네. 그냥 서로 얘기하면서 하는 것도 재밌는데 운동도 되고 네. 그리고 재미도 있어서 경치 구경하면서 이렇게 하는 것도 좋은 것 같아요 또 현실도 바로 다 나오고 해서 언제 어디서 뭐가 나올지 모르니까 계속 하게 되는 맛도 있고 재밌는 것 같아요 주위에서도 많이들 하세요? 네, 다 우리 친구들도 다 지금 돌아다니고 있어요 the Pokemon hotspot map has even been drafted, outlining areas where users are known to have had success. The prime locations on the map are visited by young gamers and children alike. How exactly does Pokemon Go work? Pokemon Go has created a sensation not only in Korea but also across the world. Based on a Japanese animation, it is an augmented reality game in which users hunt for Pokemon. That appear on the phone's GPS. 내가 마치 포켓몬 주인공이 된 것처럼 어, 캡슐 던져서 잡는 그런 액션들을 그대로 구현을 해냈고요. 잡은 다음에 그걸 가지고 어, 육성을 시켜서 또 배틀을 할수 있는 그러니까 애니메이션의 모양이 그대로 녹아 들어간 그런 형태의 IP였기 때문에 큰 성장할 수 있었고 다만 여기에 AR이라는 분야들은 어떤 하나의 재미들 아 내가 있는 실제 세상의 포켓몬이라는 내가 머릿 속에 생각했던 그 However, users sometimes become so immersed in the game that they fail to notice their surroundings, making a bit of a safety issue. Nonetheless, shops designated as Pocky shops are enjoying a stake in sales thanks to the increased foot traffic. 저희 편의점이 포켓몬 잘 잡히로 유명하고 그래서 매출이 많이 늘었는데요. 이렇게 딱 포켓몬 열풍을 좀 실감이 되는 것 같습니다. 실제로 그 어떤 자료를 보니까 같은 기간 대비 속초의 포켓몬 때문에 숙박업 숙박업체 예약률이 400% 정도 상승을 했다고 그러더라고요. 자영업이라든지 아니면 프랜차이즈라든지 아니면 어떤 이동, 이동 수단에 대한 경제적 효과라든지 그런 것들을 속초시는 현재 지금 톡톡히 누리고 있는 중입니다. 그리고 속초시뿐만 아니라 전 세계적으로도 포켓몬고 때문에 어떤 경제적인 좀 상승 효과를 좀 기대하고 있는 곳이 많아요. Released on the 6th of this month, Pokemon Go has generated buzz in the likes of US, Australia, New Zealand, Germany and the UK. DG Capital, a UK-based investment bank, projected that the global AR and VR market will grow by a factor 37 between this year and 2020, from $4 billion to $150 billion. Pokemon Go is expected to have a significant impact on the domestic mobile app and gaming industries as a whole. What kinds of efforts must Korea make in response? Pokemon Go 때문에 증강 현실 기술은 당분간 어, 전 세계적으로 게임 쪽 콘텐츠에 굉장히 많이 활용될 것으로 보이는데요. 그리고 실제로 우리나라에서도 뽀로로고라든지 뭐 한간에서는 농담으로 둘리고라는 이야기도 많이 나오고 있잖아요. 어떤 증강 현실 기술을 이용한 다양한 게임 애플리케이션이 다수 출시될 것으로 예상하고 있습니다. 기술보다는 창의력이라는 그런 컨텐츠 부분 시장의 싸, 어, 싸움의 시장일 거라고 보고 있고요. 최근에 보면 너무나 적용 분야가 다양하기 때문에 시장 조사 기간 자체의 예측치가 적게는 뭐 다섯 배에서 많으면 이십 배까지 서로 다른 모습들을 보고 있거든요. 어디까지 뻗어 나갈지 알수 없는 그런 기술이라는 게 매력이 있는 것 같아요. AR technology is making its way into various fields such as education, tourism and fashion in addition to games. Gaze는 가상현실보다는 증강현실의 시장 규모가 훨씬 클 거라고 예상은 하고 있습니다. 그러니까 가상현실은 어떤 특정한 장비들이라든가 이런 복잡한 시장 것들이 많이 필요하지만 증강현실은 그 누구에나 손에 지금 쥐어지고 있는 휴대폰, 
이거 하나만 가지고 충분히 진행을 할 수가 있거든요. 그래서 가장 많이 우리 시장 쪽에서 바라보고 있는 것들은 교육 쪽 시장이고요. 교육, 의료, 뭐 군사, 뭐 아니면 놀이 이런 쪽에 그 모든 분야에서 어 시장 전체적으로 엄청난 파급력을 가질 것이다 라고 예상을 하고 있습니다. Augmented reality is lauded as a top new growth engine. We look forward to the convergence of this promising technology with content from various sectors as it continues to grow in the future.